Tyler, oh, that's okay. the hottest we have been all year. Yeah. Yeah. Longview hit 103, Lufkin 105 oh, today. Man. So, okay. all right. Yeah, and that ties the highest temperature that we had last year at Tyler, which was also 107 degrees. Okay, mm -hmm. good for yeah. us. Good for yeah, us. Yeah, good for <laughs> us, right? Yay. Unfortunately, we just started out August, so I'm sure there's going to be more days like this. Yeah. I've got it in the forecast, folks, that hot temperatures are not going away, and they're going to be with us for a while. Lots of sunshine right now in Tyler. A few high cirrus clouds, but they're not doing anything for us tomorrow until nine o'clock. Excessive heat warning out for all of East Texas. This does mean it could feel like greater than 110 degrees and it's hot. It's dry. Vegetation drying out very quickly. Two more burn bans added to the list today. Henderson and Smith County now included in the burn ban list, and that just leaves the northern half of our viewing area. And if conditions continue to dry out as they have been, I do suspect at some point some of our northern counties will also be added to some of the burn bans that we've already seen. 90s to the north, Jefferson's at 99, Dangerfield at 97, Quitman at 103. It's five degrees cooler there in Emory. We're at 102 right now at Tyler Pounds Airport. Henderson's at 105, Troops at 101. It's 101 in Jacksonville. And as we look further off to the south, Nacogdoches is at 101. It's two degrees warmer in Appleby. Elkhart at 103. And we've got some lower 100s across deep east Texas. Lufkin, for example, is at 104. It's 104 in Trinity. Zavala is at 105. Here are your dew points. We are in the middle to upper 60s. They They've come down a hair as compared to yesterday, and for that reason, the ambient air temperatures have been a little warmer than what we saw yesterday. We were at 104 in Tyler yesterday. That was the highest temperature that we saw, but we were three degrees warmer than that today. Here's that area of high pressure. It's anchored over Oklahoma right now. Of course, it's bringing up some Pacific moisture in the parts of the mountains of New Mexico and Colorado. Pretty common for this time of year, and it's pretty common for us to be unbearably hot at this time of year as well due to that area of high pressure. 81 tonight. High temperatures tomorrow on par with where they were today will be in the low to middle 100s again. And unfortunately, through Friday or Saturday, rain chances are almost non-existent. It's really up to our north. That's where we'll be watching those rain chances between August 7th and August 11th. But folks, this is progress. At least we have a chance of rain by early next week. Now, from a temperature standpoint, rain chances aren't going to do much for us. Instead of being 107, we may be 99 or 100. 100 at this time next week. But again, lots of sunshine does mean temperatures will remain above normal, which by the way, 96 degrees is the normal temperature at this time of year and will be for the next two weeks. Next seven days, we're well beyond that. 100s through next Monday. There's a chance of rain there. Next Tuesday looks isolated in nature right now. Low temperatures will be in the 70s and 80s over the next several days. And then as we look at deep east Texas, same deal, triple digit heat through Monday and then an isolated rain chance on Tuesday. Neil Casey, we have a